this is news on the go here's what's cooking i'm amata balachandra well we may have begun unlocking across the country but there's some bad news our numbers are continuing to increase india has gone past italy to become the sixth worst hit nation by the covid-19 pandemic according to john hopkins university data india's health ministry data shows that the total tally is above 2.36 lakh with 6642 deaths so far Here's what's worrying. After yesterday's highest single day jump, there's been yet another highest jump in numbers with 9887 new cases reported in just 24 hours. Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Delhi and Gujarat continue to remain badly hit. Amidst criticism over accessibility of beds, Delhi Chief Minister in a press conference today has said that there is no bed shortage for critical coronavirus patients in Delhi. Slamming private hospitals, he said that some hospitals are denying admission and warned them that they will not be spared. The Chief Minister today said COVID-19 suspects cannot be turned away from hospitals. Delhi Chief Minister also went on to say that this will be investigated and sorted out soon. Remember Delhi had launched a mobile application a couple of days ago which essentially showed the availability of beds in Delhi's hospitals. The Chief Minister went on to say that the government will not permit any mischief. In some relief to the hotel industry in Karnataka, Chief Minister B S Yadurappa has said hotels and restaurants can reopen if the precautionary measures laid out by the government is followed. The central government on Thursday released new standard operating procedures for restaurants and hotels. These included measures such as allowing only asymptomatic staff and guests inside the premises and proper crowd management. Karnataka Chief Minister Yadurappa also held a meeting with the Tourism and Transport Department regarding revival of tourism in the state. Tamil Nadu in the meantime has capped treatment costs for COVID-19 with citizens having to pay a maximum of 7500 per day in general ward. The news minute has reported that private hospitals have been categorized into four groups A1, A2, A3 and A4. Meanwhile, charges for treatment in ICU has been fixed at 15000 rupees for private hospitals in all categories. Let me also tell you that the World Health Organization has updated its guidance on wearing of masks. In areas where there's widespread transmission, it has advised people working in clinical areas to wear medical masks. In areas with community transmission, people above 60 years of age and those with underlying conditions should wear a medical mask in situations where physical distancing is not possible. Well, WHO has now advised governments to encourage general public to wear non-medical masks where there is widespread transmission, especially in public transport malls etc but this is important the world health organization says masks are not replacement for physical distancing and hygiene that's a wrap from me today have a happy weekend this is amita balachandra signing off stay home stay safe